Hi, and welcome to day five of multiplying and dividing integers. Today we're going to get into when there's multiplying and dividing. So we're going to have to follow some of the rules for order of operations. So, and then we also have to remember the rules for um, integers, for multiplying and dividing integers. So if we look here, we want to simplify this fraction first. So we have negative 3 and then 20 divided by 4 is 5. So that's a lot easier to work with. And then we're going to do negative 3 times 5. And here's our triangle. A negative and a positive. My answer will be negative. So 3 times 5 is 15. So negative 15. Okay, that's our simplification there. And let's go to our next one. So the order of operations here, we have multiplication first and then division second. And we're going to keep track of our <coughs> negative numbers. So our first step would be to do negative 2 times negative 4, which is going to be positive 8. A negative times a negative is a positive. Remember our chant. And then that would still be divided by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. And you'll also notice of these three numbers, two are negative. So we said that's an even number, so that means the answer has to be positive because only two of them are negative. Okay, let's look at another one here. On the inside, we have a negative four divided by a positive two. A negative divided by a positive, we've got one negative, it's an odd number, so the answer here would be negative. So that's negative two, and then we're left with two times negative two. Once again, drawing this little thing is really nice, it's really easy, and we've got a positive and a negative, we cover that up, and our answer is a negative, or you can just cross it off too, if you drew it. Our answer is negative, two times two is four, so we get a negative four. So we're going to do the things in the parentheses first. Um, don't forget that this fraction bar actually means divide. And then just remember our rules. An odd number of negatives is negative, and an even number of negatives is positive. So um, good luck. This should be a great lesson and practice for you. Thanks for hanging in there for these five lessons and have a good one. Bye.